Welcome to Narrowboat Precious Jet. My name is Steve Tyrrell and you currently join us as always in Swan Lane Wharf at Swan Lane in Coventry on the Coventry Canal. This week's video, um, much the same as last week really in the fact that I want to get the wiring sorted so I need to wire up the fridge, uh, the inverter and also the 240 volt I need to wire up and also I need to run the main wires across the, the fuse board on the boat and basically then it's just tidying up the wiring and getting the lights working and everything else working so okay hope you enjoy the video um, if this is your first time watching or if you've watched before and you're not subscribed then please consider subscribing I'd much appreciate it and also don't forget to uh, give me a thumbs up or like the video that would be absolutely great um, and as always comment down below I do love your comments uh, comments have been dropping off recently which is a bit of a shame I do love your comments uh, I do love chatting to you guys and I do love the advice you give me the advice is is better than anything because um, well everybody loves advice don't they you know especially on subjects you don't know about okay so I hope you enjoy the video and yeah let's get straight into it all right hope you enjoy see you soon Okay, so been shopping. A couple of uh, 80 amp mega fuses uh, to run the house system, uh, the wire up to the house. That'll sit in there, then I can wire that up. That'll be with, um, I think it's 25 mil or 35 mil squared cable. And I've also bought some more 50 mil squared cable, 50 millimeter squared. Um, that's so that I can do the inverter. That's what this is for, for the inverter. Okay, um, yeah, let's get cracking. Still got the wires here for the fridge. They're going to run across um, while I've got everything exposed. I'll wire the fridge in and get that sorted so we can have um, fridge working and everything else. And then uh, once I've got power onto the boat, we can plumb up, we can fix and sort the water pump, make sure there's no leaks there again still, and sort the washing machine out. And then once everything's up and running, we can start using the boat um, properly. Okay, all right, stand by, let's get going. Right, so batteries now have a master shut off um, house electrics now have a master shut off um, solar panels have got the um, shut off there anyway so I can isolate the solar panels so that's um, everything down here at the moment kind of sorted I need to put the shunt through the negative buzz um, but that's the next job so uh, well, it's not the next job, but it will be a job I'm doing soon. The next job I'm doing now is these two wires here. They run up to the house fuse board. So that will run all the lights, the bilge pump. Uh, not Sorry, not the bilge pump, the gulper pump, the water pump. Uh, and any 12 volt sockets I fit in the boat at a later date. Um, you know, USB charging points and stuff. That will charge all that sort of stuff. So um, there you go. This here... What I'll do is I'll run um, a short loop wire across to here. It'll only be a small one from one to the other. And then at the bottom here will be um, bilge pumps. So the, I'll be running three bilge pumps off that. What I'll do is I'll bring the wires down here somewhere, run them off. Then at the side here, somewhere around here, maybe somewhere else, there'll be a, a small separate fuse board that'll have three fuses in to run the three bilge pumps that uh, that will be fitted on the boat. Okay, that's not looking too bad. It's looking quite neat. Um, the last thing I wanted was a, a mass of, uh, of um, spiders web of wires. I mean, I know this looks a bit complicated, but it's it's very straightforward. I could have probably made it slightly neater, maybe, but that's something I can do in the future. There's no uh, there's no rush to do that. It's safe. That's the main thing. It's very very safe. Um, no loose wires, no bare wires. Uh, these will be covered with a plastic cover. Um, I can get a plastic cover to cover that one if need be, but that's the earth, so that doesn't matter. That's a negative buzz. So yeah, it's safe. And also now the uh, inverter is now also wired up so that I can start running uh, power from the inverter. I can start running, I can run my washing machine off it. I can run it direct from here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a wire from here up to the, uh, up to the, the um, fuse board at the top the 240 volt fuse board anyway so okay that's you for now looking good 
Okay, cables are now run up to that mess up there. So we have power onto the box. So if I just switch it on, I don't know you'll be able to hear the shower drain, but if I just switch it on for a second, you'll hear it. Okay, pumping away. So we have power. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet because um, a lot of the lights are a bit dodgy, but we have power. As long as I go through the boat now and make sure there's no wires touching, I can connect up lights that are already on the boat. Um, I need to wire the fridge up next and get that sorted. So that'll be tomorrow's job is wiring the fridge up and sorting that out. And also, um, can't see it, there's a 240 volt box there that needs sorting again now. Um, all these wires under here, they're 240. So I'm gonna run complete new wires from uh, the plug on the back of the boat. I may even get a new plug yet, I'm not sure. Run new wires through the galvanic isolator and to the back of the box here. And then we'll sort that out. Um, yeah, yeah. There'll be stuff sorted out there soon. But um, I still need to tidy all this up in here because it's still a mess, but I've got plans. So as long as we have plans that, that um, are valid, then it's good if that makes sense. Okay, another quick look at that. This is all working and everything now, look, so that's that's quite good, so turn that on. You can see the lights, that's up and powering, so that's good. So uh, I can run stuff off that now, so I could run me vac or whatever. Uh, solar's powering up all, all fine, that's all good. So yeah, fabulous stuff. I'm um, quite happy with that. Okay, right, I'm off home. See you tomorrow. Hello, Tuesday, yesterday's work, mm, nice. Okay, <clears throat> just wanna have a, a quick tidy up, well I'm having a quick tidy up before I start work and I've picked all my tools up, stacked them out of the way um, and the sawdust and bits of wiring down there and bits of crap down the crevices. So, as I've got um, the inverter now set up, <laughs> see how it gets on it should run the vacuum cleaner no problem at all you ready let's have a look <laughs> let's tidy up okay been buying more toys today so the first thing is boot lace ferrules so these go on top of your um, uh, cables. So if you've got multi-strand cable rather than solid cable, uh, you'd put these bootlace ferrules on to go into uh, chocolate block connectors and the Wago connectors. The Wago connectors are great, but they don't cope very well with multi-strand wire. They have to have solid wire. So that's why I bought these. Um, so I bought a fitting kit for that. I've also bought the tool to um, clamp the ferrules and also i have bought um oh gosh what's it called now a fish um a steel fish electrician's fish so this is a, a wire you shove through gaps and down backs of you know boards and stuff to fish wires through so that's what i bought there so that's today's purchase um this came in the post i was going to use this but i think i've changed my plans now i did fancy using the cover um on the negative buzz bar but it doesn't fit so never mind not to worry right let's crack on uh job now two rolls of wire get the fridge sorted okay so that's what i'm going to try and do today i think i'm going to bring the wires out uh above the uh inverter and then run them under the gunnels and bring them down just about i think that's probably the easiest thing to do okay all right stand by let's have a little fish so I don't know whether I've told you in previous videos, but in here, I don't know whether you can see up there, there's two runs of cable there, tube, and that's what I need to get in. And there is also a tube running down, uh, where is it? I'll find it with my fingers. It's here somewhere because I felt it. Uh, there, just right here, there's a tube running down the back, and that runs down here. So um, power from the inverter for the boat, that needs to go up that tube, and also 
the um, fridge wires need to go up this tube at the back here and they both need to go across the top um, the power wires for the 240 volt could run with these that would be an issue so if I can't get them down that tube up there and um, they will be going on the cable tray there with the uh, with the other wires with the two, uh, 12 volt wires okay just put this on here gives us something to walk on over the batteries rather than treading on the batteries okay right let's crack on see how far we get Well, that was so much harder than it should have been. Pulling these two wires through that trunk in there. Look, you can just see the trunk in there. Oh my God. That was absolutely time consuming. It just took me about an hour to get just to run them through that tube at the top. But uh, it's getting there. Look. So there you go, that's your fridge wires. All right, keep going. Don't stop now. Yeah. Loads of other wires as well. I ain't got a clue what half of these, where half of these go, or what half of these do. Uh, never mind. Unless he had wired in redundancy or something, you know. This is all your lighting wires. Stupidly heavy duty and thick. These are all going to have to have feral boot laces on the end. Okay, let's keep going. All right, you can just see the uh, the wires coming in down through the gunnels there, and that's going to be plenty. And then all I need to do is fix them against the side here. Um, show you there. Fix the wires against the side here with a, a chocolate block or something, and then wire that in. And then that's just positive and negative. Look. So that's an easy wire up. So that's easy enough. And then in the engine room, wires come out there. Look, you can see the wires running down here. So they come out the top, down to the reels there. So I just need to trim them off short now and decide which plug I'm going to have on there to wire them to and then I'll uh, I'll just plug them in. There is actually a switch on there that says fridge already so I will probably just go straight to the fridge switch. Okay, looking good. Getting closer, getting closer. So by the end of the day I could have a working fridge. Lovely. Right, um, anybody who's watched along for a while knows I hate these things. These uh, are chocolate blocks, but unfortunately, they're very, very handy. Um, so, to connect the fridge, I am going to use the chocolate blocks. And because the fridge is going to be fairly, um, it's got to be movable basically. So, I've got to be able to move the fridge out and not worry about um, pulling wires and stuff like that. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wire it to a chocolate block just wire the two ends up so I've got the end off the fridge and the end off the chocolate block uh, sorry the end off the uh, wires coming in it's a fair old chunky chocolate block so that should do the job uh, it should be okay what I'll probably do is once it's wired in I'll uh, I'll put a lot of wrap wrap a lot of tape around it or something you know so I could even put a bit of heat shrink around it but once you heat shrink it you're kind of gluing it in for life aren't you, you know, and I don't really want to do that so okay
Okay, so you just see me use the bootlace ferrules. They're the little things you clip onto the end of the wires um, and it makes um, multi-strand cable to a single strand cable. And it gives you this little bit of insulation on the end as well, which is great. However, when you use the bootlace ferrules on the chocolate blocks, you don't have any sticky out cable. So it makes the chocolate blocks a little bit more safer you know, consumer friendly more than anything else. So, and it's the same on the Wago clips I used the other day, the other, on the other video. Um, I'll be revisiting that and putting bootlace ferrules on those as well because the Wago clips work better with a single strand rather than multi-strand. So, but that just makes the chocolate block a lot safer. And you've seen how some of the other chocolate blocks on the boat are. That's the safest one on the boat. And now I'm using these ferrules I don't mind the chocolate blocks so much because they're a lot safer and like I said I could wrap this in um, tape now and it'll be absolutely fine or I could leave it open and it'd still be fine okay right let's crack on um, switch the fridge on now oh we could switch the fridge on now all right let's see what happens wow I can hear it Oh, and the light works okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the fridge on overnight um, the batteries should the, the, the batteries will be fine they'll cope with it no problem at all so I'm going to leave that on overnight now and then uh, that will give the solar controller something to do tomorrow morning it'll, it can recharge the batteries can't it <laughs> getting closer getting closer it is Wednesday Wednesday the 27th um, I've been and bought a new plug socket for the back of the boat because the one yesterday uh, when I took it off yesterday I had to um, removing it to get to the wires underneath to replace the wires it, it just completely destroyed the box basically so I have bought a new one and we're gonna have a go at kind of trying to fit this today oh that's nice look oh that's lovely okay that's good everything comes apart nice and easy so you've got the main part of the body there look that's nice and then the piece you screw on the wall front cover and then a waterproof gland uh, the waterproof gland i'll probably fit to the boat i don't think i'll need to squeeze it in completely but yeah so yeah that waterproof gland i'll fit to the side of the boat just to stop any rain getting in and stuff okay
Okay, that's the galvanic isolator in line. So that seems to work okay. So then I'll fit that back on the wall. Um, I'll probably, it was fitted just here, but I'll probably tuck it a little bit further over under there, um, just so it's out of the way. And that should do it then. And then perfect. That's um, happy days. So that can run all the way through now and I can uh, earth out all the uh, sockets and stuff. Um, the RCD box, is it an RCD box? Yeah, the RCD box and the sockets, they can all be earthed and neutraled and that's perfect. Okay, lovely. Well, we haven't got a great deal amount done today. However, it, it is what it is. So um, we have the new plug fitted on the back of the boat and we've started laying the new wires in down the side to go under the gunnels. So that's as far as you're going to get today. Tomorrow I hope to spend a lot more time here, but today's just been a bit of a washout. Um, I didn't get to the boat until about half past one because I had a bit of a late night last night, or should I say um, a bit of a late finish, so I slept in until half twelve this afternoon. And then when I did get to the boat at three o'clock I had to shoot off because um, my son had a flat battery so I had to go and jump start his car. So. I haven't done a great deal. Anyway, catch up with you tomorrow. Um, today is Thursday, the something. Not quite clear. Not quite sure of the date, should I say. I've had the camera on, uh, not the camera, I've been doing a bit of work before I put the camera on um, and I've decided there's a few jobs I'm going to do. Um, not necessarily today, but in the very near future. So let's turn you around and I'll show you what I've been doing this morning and explain a few things to you. Okay. Right, so I've taken the rest of the um, the panelling off that hid the wiring under the boat. Uh, mainly because I need to chase where a few different wires go and all that sort of stuff. Um, a lot of it is to do with the 240 volt, the plug sockets. Um, right, I've now decided that some of the wire um, I'm going to keep. In fact, all of this uh, lighting wire here, this stuff here, I'm going to keep. I'm either going to carry on using these, however, I'm going to fit bootlace ferrules on all the joints that I can see and get to. Um, things like this, that will all have bootlace ferrules. These as well, these will all have bootlace ferrules. Um, just so that when I come to rewire, or not rewire, or when I come to put stuff back in the boat, like lights and stuff, it will be a lot safer. Because you see on some of these, where are they? Um, okay, can you see the wire sticking out? There you go, how's that? Virtually every single one of these has got wire sticking out. Um, so, that one's not too bad. But like I said, nearly all of them have got wire sticking out, so I'm going to tidy them all up. Uh, 240 volt I'm doing at the moment, that's what the yellow cable there is. Yeah, so that's the plan anyway. I uh, don't know how much I'll get done because I'm only here for the, today for the rest of the video today. Tomorrow I'm decorating my daughter's house, so that'll be fun. Okay, let's uh, let's get a move on and see what we can do today and see how far we get. All right, lovely.
Okay, now I've got the bootlace ferrules in, look. You can't see any bare wires there at all, and that's the idea behind them. Um, all the wires are hidden, nice and neat. They're all crimped in there, nice and tight. They're not going anywhere. And if you happen to open the back here, you can you could touch it. It's, you're not going to get a shock off it, you know? So, okay, looks nice and neat. Get in there slowly. It needs tidying up, but it's getting there slowly. It's getting there slowly. And we also have the fuse board now, the RCD, the trip board, or whatever you want to call it. So what we're going to do is, um, to make life easy, one of those sockets there will be shore power, and the other socket will be inverter power. So you can't never have both on at the same time. Uh, you only got one or the other. And then what I'll do is on this cable here, there'll just be a straight plug and you'll either plug into one or the other um, uh, and you'll get power that way. Um, it's just the easiest way I could do it without getting switches. Um, I don't want switches going wrong and all that sort of stuff. So um, we're doing it this way for now. I may change it in the future, but at the moment that's, that's what I'm doing. Um, what I'm going to do then also now, or not now, but next week, I'm going to run some more um, tray work up there, cable tray, cable trough, what you want to call it. And I'll tidy these cables up a little bit and make them look a little bit better, um, as, as good as I can, you know, for what's there. So, okay, um, then got to do that box there next week as well. I've got a new box to do that. I'll use all the Wago connectors for that. I'll just poke it in and there'll be a four-way connector and I'll run um, each power cable out. So there's a power cable going to the back of the boat, one going to buy the inverter, one going that way, and then power coming in. And that's it, that's your lot. Okay, that's me done for the day. I think I'm gonna tidy up and go home. So, yeah. Oh well, it's been a good week so far. Um, I haven't got as much done as I wanted to, but there you go. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, if you've liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got anything you'd like to say down below or you'd like to comment, then please feel free to do so. Do love your comments. Comments are the best part for me. And also, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, then please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I was hoping to be a bit further along this week uh, with the electric fitting, but I've had a few like, issues crop up and I've not been able to spend as much time at the boat as I'd really like to. So. It swings around about. Uh, another week I'll get loads done and this week I just happen to not have got as much done as I wanted to. Okay, well, thank you for watching. 
and take care of yourselves, take care of your families, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay? See you, bye.